Hey y'all, I'm Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. So I'm on vacation. We did not go anywhere. We may impromptu pop up at the beach, Savannah, but for now, we just doing fun activities. I probably will insert some clips because I've been doing little mini clips from each night, but oh, this was such a much needed time off from my full time work um yeah i enjoy having time off with family and just being able to do stuff i've been kind of getting my birthday plans together um i'm definitely going to host a youtube celebration virtually plan some other things around in the month of may i already have plans for the week before my birthday and i'm taking vacation again the week after my birthday so I'm super duper excited, just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do. I may call and see about going to Las Vegas. <laughs> I've been wanting to go there, but you know, I'm trying not to overload my daddy and my um, mother-in-law because I'm always asking, can y'all babysit, can y'all babysit, can y'all babysit? <laughs> and they love Josiah and they do for me and does, and I really do appreciate that because you be needing some adult time without the kids, man. Okay? Date your husbands, ladies. Like, I know it's hard. But even if you can get your family to help out for a couple of hours, like, I highly recommend it because it's just needed. And sometimes it's good to go places without your, your hubby, too. Like, when I had my girl sleepover, I'm just link that on the card. We had so much fun. But today is going to be a busy and productive day. Yesterday was my first day. And like I said, we've been doing fun activities together as a family, usually in the evening. Tuesday, I worked. So when I got off, we went to the bowling alley. And it had like a little mini arcade. So that was day one. Day two, I went to the um, Dave and Buster's and we went out to eat for dinner. During the day... We finally got the light in our kitchen repaired, y'all. When I tell you I have a little list of things, like the next thing for the kitchen and dining area is I'm replacing my dining set. So I'm on the hunt for something, and it can be used. It can be inexpensive, but I am looking for a new dining table. But today, my camera, <laughs> I'm like all over the place. My camera is here. I'm so excited, y'all. My Canon is here, so I got to go pick that up today. I bought a um, replacement wedding band for my wedding ring, and I got it at Macy's. So, <clears throat> I'm going to put a warranty on it. I have it with me so I can start wearing it, but um, I'm going to be putting it on because I, I be wearing my gray ring a lot y'all probably see me talking with my gray ring and one of my friends asked me like what happened to the ring that your husband gave you so let me just explain what had happened was <laughs> the shank broke on my ring a while back and he got my um what my ring at k so it has a lifetime warranty on it we took it there they fixed it they cleaned it got it shiny look at how cute and I started wearing it less because I was like, I want to preserve it. I want to keep it beautiful, you know? So I wear it usually like when I'm out and about not doing an activity that can get it to get dirty or something bad happen to it. The other thing is I got a great deal on the ring, okay? The ring has real diamonds in it and it retails for a grand and I got it for like 60% off. Reviews on it were awesome. You know I did my research. And when I got it, it looks just like the picture. And I have pictures of it. I'm going to upload a review because nobody shared what it looked like. It is small, but I think for my ring, it works perfectly because it'll stack and move this up. So I was like, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> like, girl. All right, I'm going to go inside the nail salon. I'm getting my feet done because I'm going to be filming a tour at Shoe Hall for you guys. And I don't want my feet looking busted again it, like y'all i was filming that video for target didn't even realize my polish had chipped on my toes until i was editing i said that is not happening again <laughs> so let me put this on and go in to get my pedicure pedicure
At this point, I'm convinced that my nail salon is just slow because I've been here for a few hours. But I also have a preference. I don't like getting my nails and toes done together. So it takes me longer anyway. But that's just because I don't have time for my nails and stuff to be looking stupid. But they look cute. I hope they don't break, honey. I've been having issues with my nails breaking. I'm like, honey, I need to get my key. I'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm done at the nail salon. That took so much longer. Oh my gosh. That red car don't even realize the accident that you almost caused. You're not paying attention, sis. You folks in Georgia, you have to look out for them because they don't be paying attention. But anyway, Nails done. I went with the blue. I'm trying to stop getting pink every time I get my nails done. I literally love the color pink and I'm always getting pink on my nails. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start just getting colors. So I got gel and I got this color on my nails and my toes. I liked it, you know, the experience of getting gel. I probably would do it again, but y'all, I'm just like, golly, it's like forever. So now I'm gonna head to run my errands. I'm gonna go, I guess I'm gonna go to the mall because I have that rainbow stuff that I need to exchange. Is this too loud? It's probably too loud, I'm sorry y'all. It was hot when I got in here. I was so thirsty. But I found what I like at the nail salon. So I like getting my nails done first at somebody's station. And then after getting my nails done, I like to get my toes done after. Why are you waiting if they're not going, boo? Please go. Like, and the light ended up turning red because you're not sure what you want to do, honey. But, so yeah, that's a tip. Don't let these people, unless they are good at what they do. Personally, I'm plus size. I don't like sitting there with my feet, you know, trying to keep them straight on the edge of the pedicure station while my hands are like this like i like to be able to text or you know look at videos on my phone or just scroll through social media do whatever i want you know with my hands while i'm getting my feet done because the treatment is for my feet you already can't use your hands at all when you're getting your nails done so for me personally i find that getting your nails done first at somebody's station and then getting your pedicure makes for a better and more relaxing experience because it doesn't feel rushed. Also, I personally like going on weekdays or Sunday afternoon, I would say maybe between two and three because going on Saturdays is too busy. If you're gonna go Saturday, you need to go when they open or you're gonna be there for a while. And people are gonna be like in a bad mood because it's a lot of people coming in and out people want their nails done before they go out and it's just you know you're not gonna always get that great experience because that's a busy day obviously I typically work during the week so it's not easy for me to get up here on a weekday so anytime I'm off like for vacation or something I do try to slide on in when I can um but because I'm gonna be delivering a lot of fashion content soon I want to make sure that I'm keeping my stuff looking cute. Cause you know, I think there's a point when you're a micro influencer where your mental goes from, this is just a hobby. I'm uploading, I'm sharing my life to, this is something I'm taking seriously. I'm still sharing my life and I'm still being Yosha, but it's like, it's certain things that you need to do. Um, I do still want to get into makeup and stuff. I just haven't yet, but you know, I don't think you have to have a full face of makeup for people to like you. You can still be fierce and pretty and sexy and all that without wearing makeup. But, you know, if you're going to be in doing a shoe haul, you can polish your toes. So, the last shoe haul, like I said, I was just filming and didn't even realize that my, um, pop, my feet had chipped. So, I was like, yeah, we're not doing any more shoe videos with my feet looking busted. Even if I have to paint them at home myself. Just because visually there's an aesthetic that you want to have when you are filming and when you are, you know, putting things together. You want to name your name, correct? Yes. Can you pronounce it for me? Yosha. That's pretty. 
Thank you so much. I would have butchered it if I'd have tried to say it. I get Joyce, Jachi, <laughs> Joshe. <laughs> Thank you so much. I intended to go in Rainbow, but Rainbow is not in the mall. I don't know why I keep thinking that it is or that it used to be, but it's not in the mall. So I went to Macy's and I got my ring. Um, I put warranty on my ring, so I have a three-year protection plan on it. The lady was like, oh my gosh, you got such a great deal. And I'm like, I know, like the ring was worth a stack and I paid like under 300 for it. So I'm super excited about that. It looks so pretty together. I'm excited though. I'm getting the Canon G7X2 mark and I got the creator bundle and I have a four year warranty from Best Buy and I paid $6.98. When I wrote down my goals for the year, I put that I wanted to get my MacBook Pro, which I'm ordering that next from Apple directly. And I wanted to get the Canon G7X2 mark. The camera was $4.99 with the creator bundle. Um, or four ninety nine by itself, five forty nine with the Creator Bundle. The normal price is six ninety eight. And for Christmas, I had it in my cart, but I waited. It got sold out. Couldn't even ship it. And when it went back in stock, it went back up to six ninety eight. So I said, when tax time comes around, when stimmies come around, I'm gonna get it this time. And. I waited and then April rolled around and it went on sale. There was like no reason for the sale, but it just went on sale. I said, I'm getting this today. So I'm so excited. And the crazy thing is I've been doing more content from my phone now, but because I'm gonna be doing more clothing hauls, because I'm gonna be do, doing more vlogging and things like that, I don't wanna always have to use my phone. I wanna be able to use my camera, especially for my sit down videos. I wanna be able to use a camera for those and I wanna use my MacBook to edit with iMovie because your girl's been using iMovie from my phone and I love it, it's so convenient, it's so quick. But I wanna be able to use Final Cut Pro. So when I get my MacBook Pro, I'm putting Final Cut Pro on it because I learned that in college. I'm rusty as hell though. But I wanna be able to deliver the best. So I'm so, so excited. Timing is everything and I'm just like, yay, I, I got it. <laughs> So hopefully they come. I've been sitting here for a minute. It took me 15 minutes to figure out how to do the... Oh, wait, they're coming. They're coming. Okay. Wait, no, they're not. <laughs> that was a false alarm. It was like a person walking out who had their own um, bag, and I thought it was mine. But it's just, it's time. I'm on the road to 10K. I know it's coming this year. I've started to realize what's, what type of content strangers like and then my og supporters y'all that watch me no matter what type of content i do i really appreciate you guys because y'all keep me motivated y'all keep me encouraged because it's certain times where i be feeling like dang you know i'm not getting the views and it's not that i'm just doing this for views or not doing it for the people that rock with me and i rock with them but at the end of the day this is something that i take seriously and I want to make money doing because it gives me more options in life as far as um, working for myself and diversifying my income and having more than one stream of income. So I'm thankful for the growth. I'm thankful for the increase in revenue with YouTube. I'm thankful for the sponsorships, the brand deals. I'm thankful for all of that. So I never want to come off like I don't appreciate where I am because I've been growing and it's been an upward trend. But it's overdue y'all i can't wait to be able to get to, get to a point where <clears throat> i'm consistently bringing in the views no matter what type of content i put out um and getting the opportunities from brands and things like that on a monthly basis but for now i'm just grinding <laughs> all right it took a few minutes but it's here i'm so excited y'all let me show y'all the packaging a little preview okay this is the creator bundle so i paid extra for it because it includes um like an extra battery it includes 
um, SD card, just basically things that creators use, content creators use. So super excited. I will unbox it and make a video. Better content on the way, guys. Yay. Hey, y'all. So I'm just coming back to clarify that this includes the PowerShot GX Mark II with a wrist strap, a battery pack, a battery charger, a mini tripod, a 32 gigabyte memory card, and an extra battery, which you know if you film with a camera, having an extra battery is essential. So that's what it is. I will film a full unboxing video on my channel, but I'm excited. I got my camera, y'all. Y'all, I was so tired after running my errand, so I did not end up um, going to Rainbow. I fell asleep. I was supposed to take a 10 minute nap. It became a two hour nap, so I'm gonna go tomorrow and get that done. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching this vlog. Me and my family are about to go and get dinner, so I may record then. Stay tuned. Bye. This is the Nacho Supreme. This is a side of rice. And my husband got tacos. What kind of tacos did you get made? Uh, chicken, goat, and uh, al pastor. So pork. Pork. My baby, Josiah, he got the same thing as me. Nachos. <laughs>